In this lesson, you will learn how to integrate your testing framework in the pipeline module. Let's assume you have a testing framework built on Maven Surefire and you would like to integrate all the tests executed by your framework into the pipelines module of ALM Octane. In order to do so, register your pipeline first in ALM Octane. Go to Spaces. From here, go to the DevOps section. Click on CI servers and make sure you have an entry and registration of your pipeline server in this section. Now let's go back to the pipelines module. Currently, I have not registered any pipeline in the pipelines module. So let's first create a job will which execute my Maven Surefire tests from Jenkins. So let's go to Jenkins. Create a new job. And let's say this is my testing framework. Testing framework as a freestyle project. And I will add this into my Jenkins server. And here, what I need to do is I need to add a build step where I will call Maven top level targets. Now click on advanced. Enter the path to your POM file. And enter the goals you want to execute here. I want to execute all the tests and if there are test failure, they should be ignored. It should continue and run every test which is planned in my testing framework. Now add all the files to your build steps which are relevant for the test results. This is important for Jenkins to recognize where your test results are stored. So I will move I will move my files here using a Windows patch to the right path. I have two files which I need to move. And I will do this using the path here. I'll enter the correct path. Now we are good to go. So now this is fine. As a last step, I need to add a published JUnit test result report in Jenkins in order for Octane to recognize that the test cases are executed as part of the pipeline and should be collected after the pipeline run is completed. So let's say here this is I'm looking for the XML file so I will just go for a very simple uh, pattern in order to get recognized. Once completed, save your configuration. And now you have this project testing framework created in Jenkins. So let's go to ALM Octane to register this pipeline in Octane. Now I'm in the pipelines module, my CI server is already registered. So I will click on add pipeline. Select the correct CI server from the CI server list. Now look for the correct job, which is a testing framework, and I would like to copy the name, the pipeline's name, and save it from here. Now my pipeline is created, and I'm able to execute it from here directly. So let's do it. I can run my pipeline either from here directly from ALM Octane, or I can go to Jenkins and click on Build Now to execute my tests which are part of this Jenkins job. In either case, ALM Octane is going to uh, recognize that the pipeline is running and will track the results. So let's execute it from ALM Octane. Now I can see pipeline um, run is executed. And here on my Jenkins pipeline, I should see that there is 
a build number which is executed and I can also see here that there are tests which are now being executed on my host machine which is here. I can see that it will start now few times the Chrome browser and execute uh, some Selenium tests. So two of the test cases should be passed and one test case should have mm, test failure and after the test cases are executed it should close all the browsers and track back the results in Jenkins. You can see here the build is not stable because we have now this time two errors and I'm able to see this as part of my testing framework here latest test results and these are the failures I have in my framework two test cases failed in total I had three so this is fine and exactly this picture I should see now in ALM Octane and exactly I can see it here one test case is passed and two are failed and I can see all the details about the test execution here uh, on my overview um, for this pipeline as well as I can see the test failures directly by selecting the test cases and here I have the um, test failures from the testing tools and testing frameworks in my pipeline embedded. So this is a great way to execute your complete end-to-end -end test cases from your testing frameworks uh, as part of your LM Octane pipeline. In the next section, we will see how you can execute test cases. Like here, in my case, two test cases failed, and I don't want to run it as pipe uh, as part of the pipeline, but run these two test cases uh, dedicated from ELM Octane using test runners.